Welcome to a cup of coffee and Christian Espedal. Also known as Gal um, from um, uh, Galsvild and other black metal bands that you should know about from the Norwegian black metal scene. Um, he has a gallery in uh, Bergen called Gallery Fjallar and uh, he had some exhibitions at Lysverke in 2016 and also this exhibition from 2015. So since I'm really heavily into painting lately, oh and by the way, today at the live stream at 13000 on my Instagram, I'm gonna do a painting on this and you can decide what it's gonna be. Just go to my Instagram story and write what you want me to paint and there's gonna be an auction and you can own this original Mansoni Mollery painting. So go to Instagram, uh, check out my story for more info on that. Today at 1300. Right now I got uh, some money from people buying one of my uh, many drawings. I have PayPal telling me when I sell stuff. I'm selling uh, a lot of these. It's uh, handmade drawings, originals, and uh, I've signed them all. There is a total of 96 of these in the collection. So go to kaffebansin.com, link below. And uh, it's with art glass and handmade frames from Dahl Rammeservice in Haugesund. So go check those out and I can send you the complete catalog if you want to see more drawings. Most of them are on my website, uh, kaffebansin.com, but I have more if you want to see. Why am I saying all of this uh, stuff? Well, as I said, I'm painting. And this is one of a, uh, many in a series that I'm making for Ken the Chicken Volume 4 or Ken the Chilling Volume 4. Uh, only available in Norwegian at the time. But uh, will uh, be published in English if the um, uh, uh, people want it. So say you want an English and I will make an English edition. But for now it's only in Norwegian but a lot of my comics are in English. Uh, Christian Espedal. Uh, I, uh, I, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, it almost feels like I'm bragging, since he's a celebrity, at, at least in the black metal world and art world, uh, it feels strange to say that he's a friend of mine, but I consider him a close friend and he gives the best hugs in the world, well, pre-corona that is, and um, I'm very lucky to have these signed to Martin. Um, You write something here as well? Yo yo to Martin. <laughs> and uh, the reason why painting is uh, the stuff now. I'm gonna do a lot of sales for paintings and exhibit in some shops and stuff like that. And some shops have already pre ordered paintings from me. But there's gonna be a painting in the middle of Ken the Chicken Volume 4. Okay, three minutes in the video, and I'm just talking about me and my own product instead of the title of the video. Before we get to Christian. This is something about Christian. I have very few left of these on the website and this is uh, Café Fancine volume 9 uh, and this is uh, Café Fancine volume 9 with um, artwork by Bobby Brown who's made a lot of stuff for um, uh, like Santa Cruz stuff like that. But the reason why I'm bringing this issue up is because, of course, it's an interview with Christian. It's in Norwegian though, uh, but there are English interviews as well. But this is an uh, interview with uh, Gal uh, in Café Van Sine volume 9 on the website. And also I did a painting of him, which made him laugh. <laughs> uh, should I make prints of those? Hmm. Also interview with Jevil. A lot of good stuff, see more on kaffevansine.com. Very few left of this, uh, volume 9 of Kaffevansine, so go get it now if you want to secure yourself an issue. Oh my god, I talk so much. Mm. The spread page in Ken the Chilling Volume 4 comics, which uh, was supposed to be out on Valentine's Day, but I'm slow and I'm very particular with my art, so I'm sorry for all of you who have pre-ordered. But the... Uh, uh, mid page is going to be a painting that's why i wanted to talk a little bit about painting today because um, i love his paintings and he has inspired me in many ways as well uh, you can go check out gallery fjallar for prints and paintings and a lot more like drawing stuff 
uh, and even he did some uh, like uh, linoleum prints I don't know how you say it a lot of different cool stuff but uh, really beautiful I don't want to show too much but I'm gonna show you some very beautiful uh, paintings a lot of soul in them and he's done different versions I think this is maybe uh, one of the print stuff that's in black and white but I prefer his uh, color uh, and Arlen Eriksen written a very beautiful introduction poem thing here I like these though a lot they go the raw lines go really well with the, the black and white style but I really I love how innocent these paintings are really inspiring to see and I love it this is one of my favorites this one is fucking cool I want this look at that guy screaming with a face in his hand and this girl with the long hair and this dude is just sitting on top of very like uh, surrealistic I don't know the right terms in art world stuff like that I'm not good at that but surrealistic is this underneath surrealistic you tell me comment below and these are really beautiful this one I love the cover paintings um, Another one here that's really good. And I like this one as well. This is fucking, this is brutal. That neck break, so open for discussion. Why is the neck so violently bent? And he's sitting at something that looks like a school bench. And this one you might recognize. Like these ones go perfect in black and white. Uh, I recommend highly, I don't know if these are available uh, to get anymore, these catalogs. Uh, but you can find out if you go to uh, their uh, web shop, Galerie Fjallar. I will link it below so you can find it easily. And uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek in this as well. Not too much because I would rather have you go look at their website. Oh yeah, this is uh, uh, wood woodcuts. These look really, I like these. Really like primal, primitive, uh, cool looking. Images. I want to work more with this, just haven't gotten around to it yet. But this is really beautiful. And uh, paintings, some of the ones that are from the previous exhibition. So this is like an extended catalog from one of his other uh, exhibitions. Another one here. This one as well. This is pretty brutal. I love it. And he's the nicest dude you will ever meet. So, no matter what people say, he was nominated like the most evil man on earth or something, like Alice Crowley style. But he's the nicest guy I know. And the best hugger. Bamsefach. This one is pretty beautiful. I'm gonna end it with this one. Not my life, but this video. <laughs> so, go check these out. Oh, on the back here, the website. Christianespedal.com Very simple uh, to remember his name and .com So go check these out on their web shop and uh, support uh, independent artists especially the ones with so much soul, heart and passion as Christian has in his paintings and prints They also have a, a lot of merch in, uh, at Galerie Fjallar like t-shirts, prints and uh, other people and artists merchandise so go check it out uh, when the world fucking uh, ends and starts over again you can visit the studio uh, really hope someday to have an exhibition there with my own paintings and artwork and prints and drawings um, I'm gonna beg until he lets me <laughs> so uh, Robin boyfriend of uh, Christian Bamsefar and Christian please let me come and have an exhibition and I do some crazy performance. Uh, I have to, I can't quote it directly, but this is one of my proudest moments in life. I did a podcast interview with Christian. I'm going to see if I can try and repost that uh, uh, podcast because I had it on the Coffee Fun Scene podcast and something happened with the podcasting, so it got removed. Uh, but I will try and um, uh, repost it some way because this was the podcast I had. Café de Vos, 
and it's interviews with Aaron Jem, my best friend, Christian, Janneke Visa Hansen at Needhog Tattoo. Um, you have Johnny Anglund, Kame Geddon, Anders Røkkum, who is also one of the artists that I really love here in Norway. Uh, my Lisbeth, my best friend, Orango, Göttemia, Mountain Plot, and many more. So I'm going to try my hardest, and at least, uh, if not on a podcast, I'm going to try and publish them as uh, uh, like videos on my YouTube channel, so you can listen to the, the podcast episodes that are, at the moment, sadly lost. Uh, Come and get on, post that I made. 